All right. Welcome back. So let's take a look at a couple things here. Over here in the uh, browser and devices area, what you can do is you can click on the triangle. It'll give you access to anything inside the individual folders. Or if you choose, you can just do a quick double click to open and close. Gives you nice access and uh, convenient browsing abilities. And also, they have a really, really fast search engine here. Type in whatever you're looking for. It responds almost immediately. Really nice stuff there from, from the guys in the team at Bitwig. So let's move over here a little bit. What we have here are the um, audio tracks. Got instrument and audio. And you can see right away when I click that instrument and when I click the audio, you notice the inspector kind of opened up there for us. And again, we talked about this, but what the inspector is going to do now is give us the ability to rename a track, recolor the track, choose a color if you like. And also you have a fader level here. If you watch the one I'm moving on the inspector panel, the actual channel level up here corresponds identically with that. Just another convenient way to grab it in a different area. Basically the same function for both, though. And all that correlates over into the audio as well. Down here you have your effects track, your send and returns, and you have your master track. And Bitwig conveniently gave them a little, gave our master guy a crown made him king, I guess appropriately. Pretty nice little touch there. Let's see. Sorry about that. Had to gra grab myself a quick drink of water there. My throat was getting a little dry. So, all right, back at it here. What do we got down here? Let's take a look at some of these tabs right here. Show Clip Launcher. You click this guy, conveniently gives you either the arrangement view or the Clip Launcher view kind of tied together. Really nice little feature there. If you want to get rid of the arrangement view and just see the clips, well, you can do that as well just right there the next button next here. You can uh, right click, create new instrument or audio track. Also create a new effect track. So you can continue to just add those guys in here as you need. Now you noticed it gets a little crowded right there, but they've also got to switch between single or double row track height. So what I want to do is click here, and that's going to open up more real estate for us right there. So. Let's just get rid of these guys. Leave it as it was when we opened it. And back over here to the arrangement view. And then you've got your mixer panel again down here. Clicking on that's going to open up your mixers. And when you first see that, I know when I did, I was kind of like a seems a little small to me. You know, there's maybe an ability here you can open it up a little bit, get your inputs organized and things of that nature. They've given you additional buttons here that you can take away or add to to, you know, again, maximize your real estate or, you know, get to the different uh, areas you need to go. You can even click on the Add button here and go directly, which is one of the features I like the most, to all the uh, containers and audio effects, and you don't have to always find yourself running back to the overall directory. Nice little handy uh, workflow tool right there, just a quick quick access to that. But 
one of the things I like is actually the ability to maximize the meters. So what they've done here is given you a little bit bigger meter element right through this area. And if you take away that button, you've got, which is something I really like, is be able to see the energy of the project feeding through on these large meters. I like that nice, large display. I think that's one of the better features within the... Uh, different views that they offer. I find myself using this particular one quite a bit. All right, so let's move on. On to the next video.